Now, your KSBW weather forecast with meteorologist Gina DeVecchio. Right before the break, we took a look at lots of sunshine in Monterey right now. We're starting off very similar to yesterday, and I really do believe that most of the day is going to be similar depending on winds and that sunshine, but looking like we are going to see lots of sun today. Fog tracker overnight. We show this all the time early in the morning with it switching modes, so you can see most of the fog staying off the coast, but as it goes into daytime mode, the visible satellite showing just a little bit of that fog I was talking about in Moss Landing, and that's off the coast, so seeing a little bit of that for now, but that'll soon move out, clear out, burn off, and provide lots of sunshine for this afternoon once again. High pressure across the area, just off the coast, but I want your eyes to go to the Four Corners region where you see all of those different colors. Yeah, that's lots of moisture, monsoonal moisture, and that's a good thing for California. Could bring some Sierra rainfall, some thunderstorms, and that would really help with our fire situation as well as the relative humidity. So we're going to see uh, numbers here rising, which is a good thing in the southern part of the state. Hopefully we'll see a little bit more moisture there, but for today, Fresno, Palm Springs, still very dry, 27% at 7 in the morning. That is dry. That's expected to be in the teens by this afternoon. It's also going to be very hot in those areas. Look at that triple digit heat once again, over 110 for Palm Springs to Las Vegas. Santa Barbara, an area of concern. We talked about the Goleta fire, the holiday fire, and temperatures are still going to be warm. They're still going to be dry and then also a little bit breezy. Heat advisory for that region. Now this is San Luis Obispo County and south. It does not include Monterey County or San Benito like it did yesterday. However, temperatures are still going to get very close to that triple digit mark. Just doesn't look like we'll see a prolonged period of that. So there you can see no concerns across the area when it comes to that excessive heat and the heat advisories. But still, let me advise you, if you are spending time outside, especially the little ones or the older folks as well, do keep that time limited and stay hydrated. Or head out to the beach. Look at this, temperatures right now, 56, a quiet beach. If you were watching our six o'clock newscast last night, we showed you the image of this beach. I haven't seen it this packed in years. I mean, granted, I spend a little less time there because I haven't lived here, but it was impressive. All of those the umbrellas, people enjoying it. So hopefully today that's the case once again. Temperatures in the 50s, even 60s. Look at that, 61 San Jose to Gilroy down to King City. And winds right now on the lighter side, but they are going to pick up by this afternoon. Here you can see it off the coast, maybe a little breezy on the peninsula. We're going to watch the direction of this wind primarily west-northwest, but there could be a temporary period that it does shift from the southwest and that would influence our temperatures. We are going to see temperatures today, 60s to 80s along the coast. Some of our warmer spots like Santa Cruz could be in those low 80s, mild to warm, breezy with gusts and winds 10 to 20 miles per hour, a little gustier inland. And there you can see those temperatures in the mid 80s to 100 degrees. Temperatures over the next few days, the KSPW eight day forecast showing you 60s to 80s, very similar to going into tomorrow. And then the coolest days, maybe the days we'll see some more morning fog all the way through the middle of the week. And then still indicating a warm weekend next weekend. That seems to be the trend, which I know a lot of beachgoers and people visiting are enjoying that because you can plan a trip to Santa Cruz or Monterey and it'd be foggy the whole time. And that's not gonna be the case today, but if you are inland, that triple digit heat or close to that, ooh, very warm, but don't worry, a little bit of relief in sight the next few days.